What's up guys, Pixel Sammy here. This is my first collaboration with Angat. And with that being said, I'll pass it to him so that he can introduce himself. Hey guys, Angat, and today I'm doing this awesome collaboration with Pixel Sammy on his channel to compare what is the difference in apertures when we talk about F number lenses and T number lenses. I'm sure this will help you. So let's get into it. Now, speaking of f-stops, we all know that aperture is the amount of light which is entered in your lens and it is measured by a number called the f-number. Now, what you guys might not know that f-number is actually a dimensionless mathematical formula which is the ratio of the focal length of the lens divided by the diameter of the diaphragm. Now, speaking mathematically, let's say the focal length is f and the diameter of the diaphragm is d and the f-number is x, then x is equal to f by d and say the focal length is 35 mm and the diameter of the diaphragm is 90 mm then the f number is 1.8 i will approximate it around 1.8 so we write it down as f slash 1.8 which is the f number or which we call the aperture actually now everyone knows that when we increase the numerical value of the f number the image is darker right and the vice versa also is true but what you guys might not know that there are two different lenses of the same focal length and same aperture may not have the same lighting of the same photo. And the reason will be told you by Kandat and I will pass it to him so that he can tell you the rest. So guys the problem with F number is that the amount of light that is in front of the lens is not the same when it reaches the sensor. Okay so what this basically means is that the amount of light that actually enters the camera by the time it reaches the sensor is way lesser than what it originally was. Now this typically happens because of all the elements in the lens. There's so many elements that the light actually goes through and because of reflection, refraction and absorption of light, it basically gets lost going through all those elements. So as already mentioned by Swamiji, two lenses, the same focal number and the same aperture will produce different results of pictures. So this is where the concept of T numbers comes into play. It tells us the actual amount of light entering the camera after calculating the entire loss through transmittance. So when you divide the F number by the transmittance value, that's when you actually get the T number. So guys, different lenses from different companies have different transmittance values. For example, Canon has around 85% of transmittance value while Sony has 81%. So guys, you will usually see T lenses or T stops on cine lenses. Because these lenses are mostly used for movies and movies usually have to have the ideal lighting and I know you can usually change that in post-production but when they use multiple angles, multiple cameras, multiple lenses it should always look the same and doing this just by using a lens value optically rather than doing it all digitally is a time saver. So in short, doing something like this actually saves you time and time is money in the film industry. Now I'd rather spend thousands of dollars on getting my entire project highly edited by an expensive editor or rather get it right in camera and that's what mostly applies for most of photography and film try getting as much right as you can in camera even though these lenses are expensive but there are also some cheaper lenses from companies like Samyang, Rokinon and all of these that actually offer T lenses and you can go in for them if you want to and I think it's a great choice considering if you're becoming a filmmaker so that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe to Somyajit for this video. And thank you so much, buddy, for having me on your channel. Also, if you want to check out my videos, dear viewers, be sure to check out the link in the description. There is my channel link. You can come to my channel and see more content like this, but in Hindi, most probably. Also, again, once again, thank you so much. And this is Angad signing off. So that's it for my part. Hope you enjoyed. Back to you, Somyajit. Again, thank you for having me on your channel. Thank you Angad for telling us all this and thank you for collaborating with me and you are always welcome to this channel just tell me and give me a DM in Instagram and I will always there to help you out and with that being said I will link to his channel down below all my friends subscribe to his channel he's an amazing photographer and a filmmaker all the way from Gurgaon and with that being said this is Pixel Sammy signing out peace out